container which holds uh, uh, many tokens so it uh, to enter into a running state the thread uses the token and the token gets de decremented by one uh, based on the number of uh, threads using it so if there are no tokens in the semaphore the remaining thread has to be in waiting state until the threads uh, which used the token releases the token and uh, semaphores impose deliberate constraint that helps the programmer avoid error and we are going to see some synchronization pattern uh, in um, uh, semaphore that is signaling and multiplex and there are more uh, synchronization pattern we will be looking into signaling and multiplex signaling is uh, like one thread sends a signal to another thread to indicate that something has happened that is if there are two, uh, two threads running then one uh, thread sends a signal to another thread and here it makes sure uh, that one thread will run before the other thread it is like uh, there will be an uh, order maintained then uh, he, uh, we have multiplex uh, multiplex is it allows multiple threads to run in a critical uh, section that is uh, we will pro uh, the semaphore provides more tokens and uh, the threads which uh, has the token gets access to the resource and the other thread has to wait for the running threads to release the to token so we are going to see uh, these uh, two types of synchronization patterns uh, with the demo and uh, we have uh, the code uh, example code here it, this example code can be found in packet installer and i have explained about getting importing this example in my previous video uh, where i have explained in, uh, about the creating threads and handling threads and uh, i will also provide the video, video link in my uh, video description and um, here we have this uh, example uh, where uh, these about creating threads and thread definitions have been explained in the, the previous video and we will have to look into this where we have to create a semaphore uh, container so we need a semaphore id and definition and sem1 becomes a semaphore container and we have one th thread function that is led thread1 and uh, we have another thread function that is led uh, thread2 here and uh, here uh, these are the basic uh, steps which you will have to uh, include in the main function and uh, here you can see sem1 is uh, the uh, semaphore container where we are initializing the semaphore, semaphore container with, with 0 uh, uh, the value 0 and uh, it is like this represents the number of token here and um, to understand this again uh, this is creating threads that is uh, uh, thread1 that is uh, thread uh, host uh, which is going to run thread2 function led thread2 function and another thread which is going to use the led thread1 function here we will have to understand uh, uh, this concept is based on signaling uh, that is assume the thread1 uh, is going to run first so it is like uh, it will meet with this function it is like thread1 meets uh, the wait state when it um, meets the wait uh, state what happens is the thread gets blocked this thread gets blocked uh, so thread uh, 2 will uh, run uh, then uh, thread when thread 2 meets with this line that is uh, thread release it tries to release one token to the semaphore and what happens is again um, we will take in the other order if uh, uh, now the token is available for thread uh, 1 to use so uh, if uh, assume the uh, thread 2 runs first and uh, we have OS semaphore release that is uh, it is going to uh, do some kind of uh, function uh, here it is going to switch, uh, switch on LED and uh, uh, then it is releasing a token now when thread 1 meets this line it uh, it has already uh, it, it knows it has to wait but there is already a token available in semaphore uh, because it uh, the thread 2 function uh, has released the token so what happens is thread 1 uses that function and starts immediately so this is what happens and uh, we can see that um, uh, in the debugging mode uh, let's uh, let's build the code and um, we'll see the output so click on debug To get this window, you will have to click on debug and then over OS support a system and thread viewer. And uh, here, uh, let's uh, have a breakpoint 
let's place a breakpoint here and one more breakpoint here and uh, click on run uh, we can see here thread 1 is uh, running and uh, thread 2 is in ready state um, and uh, let's click once again let's click uh, run once again and here we can see that thread 2 is running and thread 1 is in wait state this is what uh, uh, was explained before and uh, this when thread 2 runs it uh, releases a token because uh, in thread 2 function we can see that osmf4 release and this function is going to release one token so now thread uh, 1 will have uh, the token to be used so now thread uh, thread 1 has uh, is in running state and thread 2 is in ready state so this is what uh, is uh, semaphore signaling and um, let's look into multiplex concept that is um, again the same uh, this code is available uh, uh, in uh, packet installer and uh, you can follow the same step which is explained in creating threads and uh, handling threads the video which i posted before and what happens here is we can see there are multiple here uh, it is like one thread uh, is uh, it is like one single thread with multiple instances this is uh, a number of instances it, uh, we can have multiple threads also but here we are going to use a single thread with multiple uh, thread instances and uh, we have thread id t mux 1 2 3 4 5 uh, and 6 and uh, again we have semaphore id uh, sem multiplex and uh, semaphore definition and you can see here we have a single uh, thread function that is multiplex thread where we have a semaphore wait and semaphore release in the same function and next um, we are creating a thread that is tmux1 that is OS thread uh, uh, thread create which is using the same thread multiplex thread uh, function again uh, tmux which is also using the multiplex, uh, multiplex thread uh, this uh, single thread with multiple instances is also explained in my previous video uh, that is uh, creating threads uh, creating and handling threads and now uh, we will have to look into this line there uh, where here we have a sem multiplex that is the container which has two tokens here so two tokens are there so uh, we have uh, many uh, thread instance multiple thread instances and uh, uh, like once uh, at least one thread will be running and the other th uh, thread has to take the token and it will be in the ready uh, in ready state or uh, if uh, the resource uh, even two threads can also run simultaneously and uh, it, it depends upon the number of tokens here and uh, first we will see uh, if uh, what happens if we have two tokens and we have uh, multi multiple thread instances and we have two tokens we will see how it works Let me build and then enter into debug. So here we can watch uh, the GPIO output. So let me remove the breakpoint. We can see two thread functions are uh, running. So you can see two tick marks simultaneously any time you can see uh, when it runs you can see two uh, tick marks next so we have uh, two tokens so two threads are able to use the tokens and it is able to run and the next thread uh, the uh, next thread we have many threads here and uh, only when the uh, one uh, one one thread releases the token the other thread will be able to enter and utilize the resource so assume uh, uh, tmux uh, that is the tmux and tmux1 and tmux2 are running and um, uh, to identify i'm using this so tmux1 and uh, tmux2 are running and um, uh, we have uh, the other threads waiting the, the other thread instance is waiting here and uh, only the, when only the, when these two executes and we have only two single thread function that has to be noted so uh, it is like one thread utilizes this and the other thread will be in the ready state and uh, when uh, the uh, same time it releases a token 
when it uh, releases a, when the running thread releases a token the uh, next thread will be acquire the token and then it will be in ready state and the thread which was in ready state will be in running state so this is how it works that is the reason we have uh, two uh, threads uh, running here so let's see if we uh, what happens if we change uh, this uh, semaphore container count to 3 I'm changing this number to 3 and then I'm building the code I'm sorry, building the project and then um, now let's run the code you can see here uh, now three threads are uh, utilizing uh, the token and then it is run uh, running so the uh, one uh, when one of the uh, thread releases the uh, when it runs and it releases the token the other thread will be able to use it so earlier we were able to see two uh, threads utilizing the tokens um, and uh, because we have we had only two tokens in the semaphore container now we have three tokens in semaphore container so three threads are able to run simultaneously so this is what uh, we have to uh, understand about multiplex and, um, and i wanted to explain this uh, two uh, uh, signaling uh, i'm sorry um, two synchronization patterns in this video uh, thank you thanks a lot we'll meet in another video